Future Benefits of Nanotechnology During the past 70 years, our lives and work transformed by two small inventions. The electronic transistor and the microchip. Both makes all of our modern electronics possible, and since their creation in the 1940s, they are getting smaller with every passing day. Today, electronic one chip can replace the power 5 billion transistors. If our cars had followed the same development track, we would now be able to drive cars at 300,000 miles per hour, and they would cost just $10 each. But if we want to keep this progress going, we need to create circuits on an extremely small, nanometer scale. A nanometer is one billionth of a meter, and so this kind of engineering involves manipulating individual atoms. We can do this, for example, by firing a beam of electrons at the material or by vaporizing it and depositing the resulting gaseous atoms layer by layer onto a base. The real challenge is using these techniques reliably to create working nanoscale devices. The physical qualities of matter, such as its melting point, electrical conductivity, and chemical reactivity, become very different at the nanoscale, so shrinking a device can affect its performance. If we can master this technology, then we have the opportunity to improve not just electronics but all sorts of areas of modern life. That's why we will tell you about the future benefits of nanotechnology. So stick around till the end. Doctors inside your body. We can monitor our health by strapping wearable fitness devices and gadgets such as smartwatches. When it comes to nanotechnology, there are even prototype electronic tattoos that can sense our vital signs. But by scaling down this technology, we could go ahead by implanting or injecting tiny sensors into our bodies. It would provide us much more detailed information with less hassle to the patient, enabling doctors to personalize their treatment. The possibilities are endless, ranging from monitoring inflammation and post-surgery recovery to more exotic applications whereby electronic devices interfere with our body's signals for controlling organ function. Although these technologies might sound like a thing of the far future, Multi-billion Medicare firms such as GlaxoSmithKline have already started working on ways to develop so-called electroceuticals. Sensors, sensors, everywhere. These sensors rely on newly invented nanomaterials and manufacturing techniques to make them smaller, more complex, and more energy efficient. For example, sensors with excellent features can now be printed in large quantities on flexible rolls of plastic at low cost. This opens up the possibility of placing sensors at lots of points over critical infrastructure to regularly check that everything is running correctly. Bridges, aircraft, and even nuclear power plants could benefit. self healing structures If cracks do appear, then nanotechnology could play a different role. Changing the structure of materials at the nanoscale can give them some fantastic properties, by giving them a texture that repels water, for example. In the future, Nanotechnology coatings or additives will even have the potential to allow materials to heal when damaged or worn. For example, dispersing nanoparticles throughout a material means that they can migrate to fill in any cracks that appear. This could produce self-healing materials for everything from aircraft cockpits to microelectronics, preventing small fractures from turning into large, more problematic cracks. Making big data possible. All these sensors will produce more information than we've ever had to deal with before, so we'll need the technology to process it and spot the patterns that will alert us to problems. The same will be true if we want to use the big data from traffic sensors to help manage congestion, prevent accidents, or prevent crime by using statistics to allocate police resources more effectively. Here, nanotechnology helps create ultra-dense memory that will allow us to store this wealth of data. But it's also providing the inspiration for ultra-efficient algorithms for processing, encrypting, and communicating data without compromising its reliability. Nature has several examples of big data processes efficiently being performed in real time by tiny structures, such as the parts of the eye and ear that turn external signals into information for the brain. Computer architectures inspired by the brain could also use energy more efficiently and would struggle less with excess heat, which is one of the critical problems with shrinking electronic devices. Tackling climate change the fight against climate change means we need new ways to generate and use electricity, and nanotechnology is already playing a role. It has helped create batteries that can store more energy for electric cars and has enabled solar panels to convert more sunlight into electricity. The common trick in both applications is nanotexturing or nanomaterials that turn a flat surface into a three-dimensional one with a much greater surface area. This means that there is more space for the reactions that enable energy storage or generation to take place, so the devices operate more efficiently in the future, 
Nanotechnology could also enable objects to harvest energy from their environment. New nanomaterials and concepts are currently being developed that show potential for producing energy from movement, light, variations in temperature, glucose, and other high conversion sources. Nanotechnology will improve the environment. Two significant advances could be coming online around then or before. First, we can solve the water problem using molecularly precise filtration. This technology is being developed right now by the private company Agua Via with support from the Department of Energy and National Science Foundation. Second, we can clean up air pollution, including greenhouse gases, with nanotech catalysts that remove CO2 from the air and reconfigure it into chemicals that we can use in industry. Christian Schoffmeister at Temple University is doing this work. Curing Cancer Immense efforts have gone into exploiting nanotech for dealing with cancer, hundreds of millions of dollars, and those efforts are working. Like the Stanford Center for Cancer Nanotechnology Excellence, multiple groups are altering various nanoparticles to get good behaviors like giving off a detectable color signal when a cancer cell is found or holding onto a cancer cell until it can be studied. Or they can be designed to release a unique signaling molecule when a cancer cell is detected. More unusual reactions have been created in the lab, such as having them absorb light and then make very low power acoustic vibrations when a tumor is located or even release heat to kill a cancer cell. Self-cleaning Here's an example, I love the idea of self-cleaning materials. The University of Cambridge is working on making surfaces that have embedded titanium dioxide nanoparticles that are photocatalytic. They use UV light to convert the dirt on a surface into carbon dioxide and water. For example, the oil in a fingerprint on this surface is broken down in 90 minutes. Many of us will have a metal implant in our bodies one day, but this is unnatural to use for this purpose. The University of Montreal and partners have come up with ways to create nanoscale patterns on such implant surfaces that can increase bone cells growth, decrease the growth of undesirable cells, stimulate stem cells, and change gene expression in positive ways. Amazing. Energy applications, Nanotechnology is finding application in traditional energy sources and dramatically enhances alternative energy approaches to meet the world's increasing energy demands. Many scientists are looking into ways to develop clean, affordable, and renewable energy sources and reduce energy consumption and lessen toxicity burdens on the environment. Nanotechnology is improving the efficiency of fuel production from raw petroleum materials through better catalysis. It is also enabling reduced fuel consumption in vehicles and power plants through higher efficiency combustion and decreased friction. Nanotechnology is also being applied to oil and gas extraction through, for example, nanotechnology enabled gas lift valves in offshore operations or the use of nanoparticles to detect microscopic downwell oil pipeline fractures. Researchers are investigating carbon nanotube scrubbers and membranes to separate carbon dioxide from power plant exhaust. Here the sum of the great future benefits of nanotechnology. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon, so you don't miss our future videos.